Hello everybody and welcome to another short hotfix tutorial quick tip video belonging to Linux and gaming. Yeah, today uh, you can see in the title we are uh, talking about The Long Dark. It is a little adventure game made by Hinterland or to pronounce it more like an English word Hinterland. Uh, Entertainment productions, I don't know, just Hinterland. And yeah, it's a little survival game. And yeah, I found out that many people, including myself, otherwise I wouldn't have put so much effort into fixing this issue. Uh, many people playing the Long Dark on Linux have a um, sound issue. The sound is not playing, the game is silent, or the game even crashes after a few seconds, and yeah. That's what exactly happened to me. And I looked up the internet, and I also contacted the support, who couldn't really help me. They just asked me if I tried, it, tried to run the game with Ubuntu. And yeah, as you probably might know, I don't really into Ubuntu. I'm more like OpenSUSE and yeah. However, I tested the game on Ubuntu 18.04 and yeah. Against any expectations of mine, the game was running without any sound issues at all. And yeah, I was a bit of uh, a bit frustrated about this because I thought uh, I thought I thought I thought this issue um, would belong to any Linux version. Yeah, so I investigated how this issue appears and why. I cannot clearly tell why it appears, but I know some different um, fixes for this. The first one, I will show you the default behavior of the long dark if we just launch it in the terminal. You see. Here is then start as H M. Yeah, I uh, have the GOG version of the Long Dark. The Steam version is pretty much the same, and you can fix the issue with pretty much the same fix. But later on, I will tell more about this later. So yeah, what we've got is the start as H. I will want it uh, run run it <laughs> run it in the terminal. For this, I will open a terminal in this file browser sh dot slash start sh press enter and we see the game is starting but yeah it's totally silent here should be some sound here should be some sound as well and yeah if we wait a few seconds the game will crash so I quit this before this happens so my mouse doesn't disappear yeah, that's also an issue with this sound bug. You cannot quit the game properly. So we open the task manager, in this case, the case discard, and we kill the long dark process. TLD.x86 underscore 64, or maybe without underscore, depending on your system architecture, which is indeed the problem in my case. But focus on this later. So we kill this program and yeah, close this task manager and we see here as I started the game running the long dark directory this pass comes from the GOG run script as H and everything after this preload blah 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 however comes from the file located in games tld.sh which is a script from hinterland to launch whether the 32-bit or the 64-bit version of the Long Dark with the required libraries you can see there. So, yeah, as we see, we got a lot of issues, but we will not fix this one. This will still appear, but this is not really the problem. We see that here is an AK error. I looked it up. AK is um, sound engine it is called AK sound engine or audio kinetic sound engine however it is a sound engine for 
WYs, I think. And yeah, this one causes some problems with uh, the engine. Do not deliver any sound effects, any music to the actual sound driver of your system. So, yeah. Uh, how do we fix this? So, first we take a look at the default SH script, which is generated by Gox. So you see the content. So we opened it with Kate. And you see you've got a basic shell script which switches some deers, determining some versions, echo running the game and setting some permissions for the different files that need to run and basically and finally runs a tld.sh script. We will not modify that one. We don't need to. So to fix this problem is pretty easy. We need to manually preload the lib sdl2 minus 2.0 so library as well the, the lib sdl2 library i don't know why but you should do this and the fix will look like this we open it with kate and you see we just do ld preload and here we select the lib sdl2 library version of our local system here you see where it is located depending on your system architecture you can find it in lib32 and lib64 i have a 64 installation but in my case i need to run the long dark in the 32 bit version so everything works i don't know clearly why but this is how it works so we basically preload the lib sda 2 library from our system in the 32-bit version and also switching to the directory where the long dark is installed in this case home vortex dog games the long dark slash games which is this folder here where everything is located and then just launching the tldx86 the 32-bit installation of the long dark and everything works fine i will show i will prove you we open this with sh you should probably hear a sound which is really really quiet at the moment i don't have my headphones on so if i turn the speakers louder you will hear the music twice so i keep it a little bit quieter But we have sound, just trust me, if you don't hear us. So, and now we can also quit the game and it don't hung up. So, that's just basically the fix and this is. Yeah, I also wrote the Hinterland support and also tell, told them about my hotfix or my workaround for this. And yeah, maybe they will fix it in future. I don't know where this issue appears. It could be that they accidentally included the 32-bit version of the lib as sdl2 in here which might cause problems but this wouldn't make any sense because on ubuntu also 64-bit installation everything worked properly so i think the issue is more located in the audio backend somewhere which causes problems on other Linux distributions than Ubuntu with 64-bit or with the included SDL2 version. So, if you want to fix this in Steam, your command would look a little bit different. I don't know if I actually have it still here, but we can take a look at my command line history where I tested pretty much everything well however in Steam you basically just need this line I imitate this um, I will open up Steam when I found it 
there it is then I will move it here I just faking having I, I, I will now fake the installation of the long dark in steam so I add an not steam game I will go to my local file system home vortex Abababab GOG games. Um, the long dark games. So I will now directly select the 32 bit version so I don't need to write something down like this. And just open it and edit and go to properties the long dark so and now you just need to go to startup set uh, startup settings and in there you just paste uh, it's the wrong window you just going into there and do this one and writing command as far as i remember okay close you run the game I hope I did not did something wrong ah and we also have sound I can turn this on. well I think you can hear it I, I, I may, maybe I will increase the volume of the game sound afterwards in the editing so yeah that's basically the fix if you have the GOG version and not install it in Steam or don't want it to include in your Steam library you need to do something like this you can modify the script somehow however your where, wherever your your game is placed however you want to want this to look or you do just edit the startups settings and typing in oh this is the old one I tried this might also work I'm not sure I did not test it this but indeed we can test it because we just need the 32 bit version but I will not try this right now just stay with the fix I showed you here in the startup settings so that's how you do it and then the game is working and did not crash anymore and you can happily play the long dark and yeah that's how it works thank you for your patience and I hope you have fun with the game bye bye